How's it going, everybody? And welcome to Saturday's Bible study. I want to continue on a new living, the watered down version. Um, but it's been working for us. And if something doesn't look right, we will, of course, check it out in the King James. And if it still doesn't look right, because King James isn't perfect either, then we'll look it up in the Greek. The following week, almost the entire city turned out to hear them preach the word of the Lord. By the way, if you're catching this right now, Go back and watch Acts from the beginning at TS Daily Bible Studies. Just click playlist and go down and click Acts, the book of. You'll more than likely have Jude in there um, along with Daniel or at least Daniel. And then it moves into Revelation. So, yeah, I'm sorry, you wouldn't get Jude. You would get uh, Daniel. Somewhere in there is Daniel. That's Daniel 11, tough study. Where's Daniel at? Yeah, back there. You would get Daniel probably midway through. And then uh, all of Revelation so far. So... Yeah, you can just click. You can start at Acts. You can start at Revelation. You always want to start these at the beginning of the study. So you're not left in the lurch. The following week, almost the entire city turned out to hear them preach the word of the Lord. But when some of the Jews saw the crowds, they were jealous. So they slandered Paul and argued against whatever he said. Of course. And when we get that in our lives, we're not supposed to be in strife. Just get rid of them. I block people all the time from Facebook. They don't come on my page anymore and really say anything. But I have said some things on other people's pages, just biblically. And uh, people people get upset or about the world around us and how it's this world is biblical. And they're like, no, it's just about money or, you know, it's just about politics. You know, I, um, I'm pleasant. I'm nice. I give my two cents. I tell them the truth. And then I usually just block them because I don't even want to hear their response, see their response. I just want to move on. Then Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and declared, it was necessary that we first preach the word of God to you Jews. But since you have rejected it and judged yourselves unworthy of eternal life, we will offer it to the Gentiles. And see, that's how you know that when the Lord raises his remnant, his true bloodline, that they do get the call after the last non-bloodline um, church member gets the call. Uh, there is a remnant on this earth. Some are in Judea. Some are scattered across the, across the earth. But they've been keeping the Torah the whole time. Their ancestors? No. No. Because Paul's making it very clear here. Guess y'all don't want the eternal life. We'll offer it to the Gentiles or the non-bloodline. For the Lord gave us this command when he said, I've made you light to the Gentiles to bring salvation to the farthest corners of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and thanked the Lord for this, for his message. And all who were chosen for eternal life became believers. Ah, I love that one. Now, first of all, take it from exactly the way it said it. But Acts 13.48, King James Version, Bible Gateway. I've always got this one highlighted. Who believed? Uh, the ones that were ordained to eternal life are the ones that believed. And it's not a belief with your mouth. It is your walk the rest of your life. So the word of God is very cryptic. It is written as a parable, as Jesus spoke in parables, and Jesus is the word. So the word is a parable. And as many as were ordained 
when was that from before the foundation of the world right ephesians 1 4 and 5 which is what grace is ephesians 2 8 9 and 10 and in verse 10 it says for we are his workmanship created in christ jesus unto the good works which god hath before ordained that we walk in them ordain when go back to ephesians 1 4 and 5 from before the foundation of the world before anything was were his sheep and jesus of course himself in the flesh but his sheep were and then this whole earth has been created to bring all sheep in as lost and then for them to get the call go through the purging uh going through tribulation acts 14 22 says for we know that it's through much tribulation we enter the kingdom so all sheep must go through real tribulation that's why i i i hate it when people somehow seemingly know the truth but yet they still want to mesh with the world through a political slant or something to that effect it just i don't know it just drives me crazy i'm just like what are you doing you know better than to go there don't egg on politics. Don't egg on your friends to think politically. Let them hate you because you're telling them the truth. Or say nothing at all. Good grief, stay out of politics. Or anything political. The Lord's message spread throughout that region. Not because of anything humans did, but because the Lord was doing it through humans. Then the Jews stirred up influential religious women and the leaders of the city, and they incited the mob against Paul and Barnabas and ran them out of town. So they took the dust from their feet as a sign of rejection and went to the town of Iconium. I, I, so, I don't even know, folks. Let's go. Revelation 11. We're going we're gonna to then barely get into 12 today also. Three verses deep. And the four and 20 elders, which sat before God in their seats, fell upon their faces and worshiped God, saying, we give thee thanks. O Lord God mighty, which art and which was and which is to come, because you have taken to thee great power and has reigned. And the nations were angry. And thy wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged. So now you're already at judgment, which is back in Revelation 20. So Revelation is the same story told over and over, but it comes in waves and it's told in different ways. This is the short version. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth again all in revelation 20 in much much greater detail the temple of god was opened in heaven and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail and there appeared a great woman in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and a moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars she being with child, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. We'll get to the rest of that tomorrow and with more explanation. Love you all very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.